Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is OnePlus One. I am reimagining the day when I bought this device in 2015. Unbox it and just wow, I am feeling the same thing while doing this today again. This phone got the crown of real flagship killer of 2014. But the term flagship killer introduced by OnePlus One itself. But what makes this phone flagship? Its price, its premium look and its software that is Cyanogen Mod. The aftermarket software developed by the developers which does the everything that the custom ROM user wants. Devices like OnePlus, U Eureka, Euphoria, Lenovo, Zug Z1 launch with this firmware. CyanogenMod got popular that time because of its customizations and the battery life in the world of stock ROM and custom ROMs too. But the every good thing has the end and in 2016 with the final builds of CM13 project got discontinued and succeeded by the lineage os i upgraded my oneplus one why custom rom still the android 10 but i thought the field performance and the battery life that i got was stock cyanogen mod is still unmatched till the date so i flashed cyanogen mod 13 in 2020 i decided to try it after five years which took me into the awesomeness and does it make the sense let's take a look you are watching for take so let's get started. I flashed the Cyanogen Mod 13 Android Marshmallow on OnePlus One and the first thing we noticed that though this device is sold having the Snapdragon 801, 3GB of RAM, it's handling the most of the activities very smoothly like games, apps and everything. Everything is just gliding with the fingertips so no worry about the performance if you are thinking to downgrade just for the sake of the responsiveness, go ahead. The launcher is the best part of initial customization in Cyanogen Mod, which does the, all the things which offer all the current and some unique features of Pixel Launcher, like the search bar customizations, grid size arrangement, app quick search, home screen rotation, dark app drawer, compact and section style app drawer setting, protected apps, widgets and the wallpapers and the app folder protections which is pretty good for this old launcher which is offering the best of all the things. The Cyanogen Mod Quick Setting Panel is not fancy as much as today's Android 10 or the 11's Quick Setting Panel but the panel has editing and the addition of tiles options. It has the quick toggles with the some animations. Quick Setting Panel has the quick shortcuts for the settings, calendar, battery and the user switch. Overall, the quick setting panel of Cyanogen Mod offers lots of the things 4 years ago that Google offering today. Let's talk about the customization CM offering. As the stock CM ROM has a genes of the custom ROM, it's offering a lots of the thing which Google still forgot to give in 2020. Some of them are double tap to wake the lost screen and double tap it to turn it off again. Lift to wake ambient displays with the ambient notifications. On-screen navigation bar with the lots of customizations. The power menu customizations which offers to add the lots of the things including the quick setting toggles for the silent DND and the vibrate modes which is helpful without need of all the slider that current OnePlus phones offering. Seamless off-screen gestures to access the different apps when your phone in off-screen mode. CM profiles which has ability to, to set the different setting for each profiles including the aspects like the ringtones, Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth toggles, just switch your assigned profile and all is done. The status bar customizations are still not so tuned in Pixel ROMs which CM is offering like the changing the clock positions, adding the AM, PM seconds in the status bar, changing the battery styles with the battery icons battery percentage and the quick pull downs options. The theming option that the Cyanogen mod is offering which makes me stick with this ROM. No custom ROM and the current Pixel ROMs having the such custom theming ability till now. The dedicated theming application has settings to change the individual aspects of the status bar icons, font styles, icon shapes, wallpapers, even the boot animations. Even we are able to set all these cosmetic effects for any theme we want separately. This application is similar to the Google Style and Walls application available in Android R, 
but in the matter of customization it is way ahead of google's android application so thumbs up for this there is advanced floating brush button we can enable which floats on any application and it helps to apply the themes from the different application that we installed separately these themes also changes the entire on screen navigation bars that amazes me a lot there are thousands of mesmerizing themes available on the play store most of them are free i never thought this cm theme changes your entire phone looks that you think you are using the new phone every day camera application provided by sanojon mod offering a lots of the things that the current pixel camera even lacks if this camera app got installed on the pixel's high quality camera phones it will jaw dropping this 5 year old app still provides the hdr mode and even a plenty of modes that we can't imagine having a manual control over camera application is also available as one plus one camera is not so powerful as it has only 13 megapixel sensor it's giving a decent pictures on this 5 year old device sanojon mode has a dedicated kernel level tuning options like the power saving efficiency balance performance modes which offering me 4 hours of screen on time with the 15 to 16 hours of standby time even on my newly replaced battery which is not original one battery life is the most important part of the software because os is main battery consuming part of your smartphone when oneplus one launch with the 3100 milliampere battery quartz popular because of cyanogen mod it's offering 6 hours of on screen time with the whole day battery with the medium to heavy uses that's why most of the users switch back to the cm because of its battery life cm13 has its inbuilt audio effects tuner which offers the max and the most tunable sound on my 5 year old oneplus one offering tons of the presets with the custom settings default assistant on cyanogen mod is a cortana which is quite bit funny but does the job instead of that you can use the google assistant from the play store which is reliable hey cortana hi who is president of india the current president of india is ramnath kavind So what is the final verdict as I am the power user as soon as I got my OnePlus 1 in 2014 I rooted it on the second day and installed the custom roms on it so until the date never stick on the stock rom that seem offered but after 5 years when I caught back while using it for a month I just say well done CM you made this device a real flagship killer The people whose devices launch with the CM stock ROM should definitely switch back because even the Pixel ROMs are not capable what the CM has done. So that's it guys if you help you like this video share this